Some reactions are reversible. This means that you can turn the reactants into the products and then you can turn the products back into the reactants. To show that a reaction is reversible, you'd need to use this symbol. So for example, you can react hydrogen with iodine to make hydrogen iodide, but this can also be broken back down into hydrogen and iodine. If this takes place in a closed container, then over time you'll reach a dynamic equilibrium. This is where the forward and reverse reaction take place at the same speed, and you'll end up with a constant amount of each over time. Fritz Haber was a German scientist who won a Nobel Prize for inventing the Haber process. The Haber process is used to create ammonia. It uses two feedstocks, nitrogen, which comes from the air, and hydrogen, which comes from the reaction of methane, natural gas, with steam. This reaction is reversible, as you can see from the symbol. The feedstocks are combined together to create ammonia in the reacting vessel, and any unused feedstock is recycled back around to increase the yield. A catalyst can also be used to help speed up the rate of reaction. There are two factors that can be changed. Colder temperatures will push the equilibrium to the right in favour of producing ammonia. However, the colder temperatures can slow the rate of reaction. Therefore, the ideal temperature is around 450 degrees Celsius. Increasing the pressure also causes the yield to rise. However, the energy costs also increase and the equipment used for the process must be strong to withstand these high pressures. This makes it expensive. The pressure chosen is therefore a compromise between the rate, the cost and the safety of the experiment. Some living things fix nitrogen at standard room temperature and standard atmospheric pressure. And this is really important because they use enzymes to do so. And if we could make catalysts that naturally mimic these enzymes, then we wouldn't have to spend as much money in industry heating reactions up to 450 degrees Celsius or providing pressurised containers.